Parliamentary legislation sort of schedule for the government's been going OK. They've got significant things through, including the National Reconstruction Fund, the safeguard mechanism. But there's one, there's one standout policy, isn't there, and it continues to remain problematic. Yes, the Greens have come up today with their housing policy or list of demands they want to see from government or they are threatening to block the Housing Future Fund bill the government is trying to get through the Senate. They want a two-year rent freeze, they want to end the capital gains tax concession on investment property sales and they want to limit negative gearing to people with one negatively geared property. Now, I've been saying for a while this Housing Future Fund bill is a dead duck. This was the PM responding to Greens leader Adam Bant's announcement this morning. They've caught this bizarre disease of just saying no to everything without any rational explanation. So I'd say to uh, the Greens political party, uh, they're entitled to vote whatever way they want, but they'll be held to account for it. And any of their rhetoric about housing issues will be regarded as just farcical if they vote against this fund. With all his question time contempt about a rent freeze being pixie dust, and his reported delight about campaigning at the next election on his housing bill failing in the Senate, the Prime Minister needs to understand that this isn't an inner city council meeting and a chance to get even with the Greens. This is a full-blown nationwide rental crisis that needs to be confronted. Now, the Coalition's blocking this legislation as well, of course. For a while now, the government has been determined to paint Peter Dutton's opposition as negative, as the no -alition. With the coalition blocking all these bills, we saw again a negative coalition response to the Defence Strategic Review, just as we've seen to the Voice proposal, to the Safeguards Mechanism Bill, the National Reconstruction Fund and the energy price caps, just about every part of government policy in recent months. The Voice will be a huge bureaucracy as a result. Uh, I think it has the real potential to grind down the system of government. Labor's flawed industrial relations changes will make it harder to secure the workforce we need and the deal that was done with the Greens on the safeguard mechanism will drive up prices. Our position's been clear. Uh, this is a, a tax that's being imposed. Uh, it's three times the tax that Julia Gillard proposed. It's going to drive up the cost of living. Today's announcement is a smokescreen to hide the truth about the DSR, the delays to strategic direction, the deferral of spending and the cannibalising of capability as the Labor government cost shift within the within the defence budget. Andrew, thank you. We'll chat to you later in the program.